31 Questions is proudly sponsored by Stephen Coote. That's right. He can do that. Tonight's fabulous prizes could include three bags of lime, a gun, and the guy who keeps parking in your space. And now your chief game showologist, David M. Green. The 31 Questions, Australia's only TV show. Keeping score, it's Sophie Loughran. Good to see you again. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's incredible. I've just realised that I'm still here, though, with you. Yes, it's like a beautiful dream that just keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> and as always, maintaining law order and a white knuckled grasp on the rules, moderator Anthony McCormack. Ooh. I'm a modern man, David, as hip and groovy as the next young scallywag. <laughs> Anthony, who's tonight's first contestant? Yes! Our first contestant is hoping to win at least 300 karuna because it would help him out of a tight spot with the Czech government. Please welcome Chris. Hey Chris, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, it's Czech government, what's all that about? Yeah, I went to prison over there, had a shot and just woke up to a prison officer in my face. So You're going to go far, my friend. <laughs> Anthony, who's the other one? Yes, our second contestant is a so-called etiquette expert who enjoys playing with her cello. You don't play with cello, you eat it. Wobbliest of the desserts. Please welcome Kat. Kat, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. So you're a cellist and you are also an expert in etiquette. What, is, that's not your day job though, is it? No, no, I, I am a banker during the day. Right, so do you laugh to work every day or...? <laughs> no, not quite. Right. Let's play 31 <laughs> questions. I love the smell of great pub in the morning. Okay. General knowledge round. One point for a correct answer, one point off if you are an idiot. And if you're playing along at home, get your Twitter finger ready and tweet along using tonight's 31 questions hashtag. <laughs> Question one. In the Bible, are there more pages in the Old Testament, New Testament, or in the index? Chris? Old Testament. Yes, that's absolutely correct. You are a Bible classic, as they also... You into religion much? No. no. <laughs> Multiple choice question. What is Alexander's Dark Band? Is it A, a death metal music group? B, an optical illusion associated with rainbows? Or C, Alexander the Great's nickname for his favourite belt? Cat. B. Yes, that's absolutely right. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you know that or are you just taking a guess? No, oh, I'm taking a guess. Oh, well, you, you guessed well. Um, yeah, it's an optical illusion associated with rainbows. It's uh, named after Alexander Aphrodisius, and it's the dark <laughs> band often seen between two rainbows. Double rainbow? <laughs> oh my god! God! <laughs> Which French dessert takes the form of a pyramid of profiteroles? Cat? A croquembouche. Yes, I'll give you that. <laughs> or a croc, uh, croc em bush, I believe is the correct oh, pronouncing there. Actually, David, it is croc em bush. <laughs> yeah, thanks, so. Which animal appears on the Papua New Guinean flag? Uh, it's a bird. It's a, a bird of paradise, in fact. See, Papua New Guinea, paradise. I don't know what all these boat people are complaining about. <laughs> Liam, Neil, Harry, Lewis, and Zane. Chris? I shouldn't get this so fast, One Direction. Yes, that's absolutely <laughs> Hey. Come on. They're not here. They're, they're not here. <laughs> What device did Joseph Zimmerman... Chris? The remote control? No, no, I'll finish the question. Kat, you got a chance here. What device did Joseph Zimmerman invent in 1948 because he couldn't afford a secretary? Have a shot. Typewriter? No, no. The telephone answering machine. If Sophie runs continuously for 42.195 kilometres, chances are she's competed in a what? Chris? The Olympic marathon. Yeah, I'll give you that. The marathon. marathon. 
<laughs> you, ever, you ever run a marathon? Uh, well, I done, did a half marathon. Right, yep. so you've sort of half run one. Yeah. In the 2008 box office disaster, The Hottie and the Naughty, who delivered a Razzie Award winning performance as The Hottie? Cat? Paris Hilton. Yes! <laughs> Remember, remember her? Yeah, who? Yeah. What was Julius Caesar's first name? Cat? Julius? Mm, no, but yes, good. I can see how you got to that answer, but no. Uh, Gaius is his first name, so his full name is Gaius Julius Caesar. It's actually Gaius, David? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know what they were like in ancient Greece. Oh, it's actually ancient Rome, but... Yeah, okay. thanks, thanks, so. <laughs> People with phobia are afraid of what? Chris? The cold? Yes! Absolutely. <laughs> Afraid of the cold. You know, I used to work in a pizza place, David, uh, with a guy who had frigophobia. And if I'd known that, I probably wouldn't have deliberately locked him in the industrial freezer all those times. <laughs> <laughs> who am I kidding? I still would have done it. <laughs> A ticket that allows an individual VIP treatment at a concert or event is usually called a backstage what? Chris? Pass. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Directed by the Farrelly brothers and starring Owen Wilson and Christina Applegate is this 2011 motion picture, Hall What? Cat. Pass. All right. A cliched movie expression in many westerns is the phrase, cut them off at the what? Chris? Pass. <laughs> really wasting my time here, but alright. Oh, for crying out loud, take a guess! <laughs> well, let's check the scores now with Sophie. Chris is on six, and Kat is on three. If they were a delicious chocolate bar, they would be a Chris Cat. <laughs> alright, it's time for Word on the Street. Buzz in when you know what it is. Five points if you're right, five points off if you're wrong. What are these people talking about? How you doing? Yeah. Good, how you doing? I'm all right. Can I ask you a couple of questions? You certainly may. It comes in a variety of different colours. Because I think they do use them for food. I think some people eat it. I ate, uh, I tried once before, yeah. Some are poisonous. It tastes really strange, but... A number of limbs, if you can call them limbs. It has between five and eleven legs. It has five limbs, usually, that's five. There's some that are pests and some are local. Yes, Chris. Starfish. Starfish. What okay, gave uh... five limbs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could be a person if the head's a limb. Yes. But it's not. Let's see if it's a starfish. What's the answer? Starfish. Yes, it absolutely is. <laughs> Very good. You know your marine creatures. <laughs> What's the next one? Hey. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Yep. Like this long. Right. I think it's like that, something like that, so long. Something that's very fresh on a summer's day. It's quite, it's quite healthy. And it's green. Green skin. It's good for you. Uh, right. Kind of a piece of like, a circle. Yeah. Vegetable. <laughs> what do you got? A lot of clues in there. Some of them were decoy clues. I maybe should have pointed that out at the start, <laughs> but uh, too late for that. Right. Cat? Oh, we're going to have a shot. Is it a watermelon? Watermelon. Jeez, why, what do you think of watermelon? Because they were talking about the different sizes and it's refreshing on a summer's day. Yeah, yeah. They also said it was a vegetable. Maybe you missed that one. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is it watermelon? Cucumber. You like cucumbers? Sure. Yeah. Well, let's have another one. What are these people talking about? He's a bit of a jerk. A bit of a tool. Ah, uh, he's a bit of a prick. Mm, not much. I don't think much about him. In real life, I'm not sure. Yes, Chris. Tony Abbott. Hey, Abbott. <laughs> can, I, can I ask, why do you think that? Oh, a clue. A few things gave it away, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's take a look. Is it Tony Abbott? Carl Sanderlands. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, thank God he's not Prime Minister. Right? Yeah. Could be better, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fun fact about Carl Sanderlands. Uh, if you cut off one of his limbs, it'll grow back. <laughs> and, and uh, he lives in tropical waters and he ingests food through his anus. <laughs> you know, the things you learn on this show. Well, just before we take our first break, 
Give us a reminder, Sophie. Recycling bins go out every second. <laughs> right. Well, we'll be right back with more sentences ending in question marks. <laughs> That's great, Sophie, but it's got nothing to do with the show, and uh, you're scuffing the floor up real good there, so I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to 31 Questions. I'm David M. Green, as seen on radio. And tonight we have something that's going to bring the house down. Yeah, termites. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the trivia questions we got coming up. But, David, the building inspector oh, called yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, when is it? I like the Hubble telescope particularly. I'll go through some events which occurred in a specific year from Earth's history. The earlier you can name the year, the more points you get. Guess wrong and all the remaining clues go to the other contestant. And what are the scores again, Sophie? Our quiz show superhero Chris is on six and his sidekick Cat is on 48. <laughs> This year, the European Parliament rejects the directive on the patentability of computer-implemented inventions in its second reading in the co-decision procedure. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. Second reading? I thought the European Parliament only rejected the directive on the patentability of computer-implemented inventions in the first reading in the co-decision procedure. What does a guy have to do to patent a computer-implemented invention around here? Preach the choir, Anthony. Preach the choir. Surgeons in France carry out the first human face transplant eight years after Nicolas Cage and John Travolta underwent the procedure. <laughs> Pope John Paul II dies and presumably goes to heaven. <laughs> the very first video entitled Me at the Zoo is uploaded to YouTube which in 2014 turns nine years old. Chris. 2005. Yes. When is this? This year, the moustache of the year was the Dirty Sanchez. Ask your father about that one, kids. <laughs> the Hobbit was released. No, not the spectacular movie or the legendary book, but the made-for-TV cartoon that nobody has seen or heard about. <laughs> Elvis Presley consumes his last fried peanut butter sandwich and dies on his bathroom floor. The first Star Wars movie was released. No, not The Phantom Menace, the actual first Star Wars movie back when it was just called Star Wars. Cat? It's 1977. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> 1977. My parents' first date, seeing Star Wars. Right. Aww. Aww. They still, <laughs> they still together? They're over there. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello. How <laughs> uh, good on you? My parents are in Adelaide and they're divorced now. <laughs> uh. Every now and then on 31 Questions, we try to show a little kindness. If you're unfamiliar with the kindness round, don't worry, the rules are self-explanatory and you'll pick them up as we go along, no doubt. Sophie, who is tonight's kindness champion? With a score of 54, tonight's kindness champion is Kat. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. Can we get some food for the kindness champion? I mean, this is the kindness round after all. There you go. Look at that. Those flowers are edible too. Hey, where's David M. Green's pineapple? Oh, you didn't have to do that. Thank you very much. Now, Kat, as uh, you are tonight's kindness champion, you have the opportunity to answer a single question. This question is worth 60 points. Does that sound good? Sounds pretty good. Of course it sounds good. Right, now, because this is the kindness round and we want to be as kind as possible, we've even catered this question especially to your strengths. We want you to do well. Here is your question. Please name this celebrity. And as this is the kindness round, I'll even make it multiple choice for you. Is it A, Nelson Mandela, <laughs> B, Gandhi, or C, Richard Kind? Is it 
see? Yes, it is absolutely. <laughs> it's Richard Kind, famous moving picture actor. Congratulations, Kindness Champion. That question was worth 60 points. <laughs> mm. And as it is the kindness round, those 60 points will go straight to your opponent. Let's hear it for the new kindness champion. <laughs> How are the scores going, Sophie? Chris, you're on 70. Now that's a kind of a dangerous number because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Kat, you're on 54. No problems there. All right, it's the movie around where Sophie, Anthony and I quote a few motion picture scenes. If you can name the film that's being quoted, five points are yours. No penalty if you guess wrong. Let's have action. Uh, we uh, got a problem. Uh, we pushed the ship too hard. Captain. Uh, we're off the grid. Uh, the computer's offline. Captain. Uh, the ship's broken. No one get hurt if you don't play no game. Uh, the ship's broken. Uh, uh, we had to go. Uh... Nobody get hurt. Easy. Easy. Hey, look at me. Show off. Look at me. Cat. Captain Phillips? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, let's have the next one. Hey. All right. He's gonna use your ass and throw you away. What was I supposed to do? He asked me out and I like him. If I hate him because he's got money, just listen. If I hate him because he's got money, it's the exact same thing as him hating us even if we don't. Do you understand? You can't do this and respect yourself. You, you just can't. Well, I'll make that decision, all right? Sure, do what you want. You know, you're only talking like this because I'm going out with Blaine. Blaine? That's not a name. Blaine, that's, a, that's an appliance. <laughs> Any ideas at all? Mid-80s, teen comedy. No? Pretty in Pink. Right in that there. Pretty in Pink. It's a classic. Onward. My neck, my neck. Whoa. <laughs> Chris. The Wizard of Oz. Yes. <laughs> well, I think we have time for one more. Let's have that one. I want to tell you my secret now. OK. I see. Cat. <laughs> Six cents. Yeah, now how do you know that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We didn't even get to the line. I know. He was going to buzz in. Uh, <laughs> you're good. Well, we'll be right back with the final round of 31 questions, the redistribution of wealth, and tonight's fabulous prize. <laughs> I'm David M. Green, and this is 31 Questions, the TV game show that's also an anagram of hot, snotty inquiries. <laughs> if you spell 31 with letters, which we don't. Going into the final round of the show, what are the scores, Sophie? We've got Chris, he is on 75, and Kat, she's on 64. I think these scores look just perfect the way they are. Mm. <laughs> I agree 110%. Anthony, your penultimate review? Now, uh, Kat, I think it is fantastic that your parents are here this evening. Chris, are your parents here this evening? No. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to do this mathematically. We're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to find the tangent between the two vertices and use the quadratic equation to calculate the value of the quartic that lies between the three planes. Sophie? According to my calculations, I think what you're trying to get at that there is that Chris is on 70 and Kat is on 64. Yes, the all-new lightning round. 93 seconds of rapid-fire questions. One point for a correct answer, one point off if you are an idiot. <laughs> Whoever has the most points at the end of this round is tonight's 31 questions tycoon. I said, I said tycoon, tycoon. Yeah, uh, yeah, all right, you're meeting me halfway at least. Let's have the clock. Your time starts now. Necrophobia is the fear of what? Chris. Death. Yes, death or the dead. 
When Oliver Twist asked for more, what type of food was he referring to? Cat? Porridge. Gruel, we wanted there, so no. Who did comedian Russell Brand allegedly divorce by a text message? Chris? Katy Perry. Katy Perry, yes, we also would have accepted his wife. How many bends are there in a paperclip? Cat? Three. Yes, three is correct. The science of seismology is the study of earthquakes. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Name one of the five sports that have been featured at every single modern Olympic game. Chris? The marathon? Mm, no, not quite. Athletic, cycling, swimming, gymnastics or fencing. Video game character Super Mario wears gloves of which colour? Cat? White. Yes, that's absolutely right. Is this a question? Chris? Yes. Yes, it is. Well done. Who is the only former Beatle never to appear on an episode of The Simpsons? Chris? Ringo Starr? No, he did. John Lennon. Which city is the setting for the TV show CSI Miami? Cat? Miami? Obviously, yes. <laughs> Australian fashion designer Alex Perry is almost never seen without which accessory on his hip? Chris? Sunglasses? Yes. Uh, a little concerned that you know that. What is the name of the part of an insect's body that lies between the head and the abdomen? Chris? Thorax? Yes, that's right. What was Chopper Reed's first name? Cat? Mark. Mark is right, yes. The end of the lightning round. <laughs> Anthony, what did you think of these two answering machines tonight? I thought it was a fantastic game, David, uh, filled with points and, and, and laughter and mirth and merriment. <laughs> uh, what did you really think? I thought it was terrible, filled with laughter and merriment. <laughs> Who was tonight's winner, Sophie? Chris, last time we checked you out, you were on 70. Now you're on 74. Kat, you needed higher than 74 to win, and you finished on 67. Oh. Sorry, Kat. <laughs> Sorry, Kat. Well, I mean, you got a very high score, but uh, you got higher. So what are you going to do? Play the cello. Chris, <laughs> I've got more points. That means you are the winner. Two and one is one, Anthony. Yes, it's a David M. Green GPS. The DM GPS. It'll feel like David M. Green is right there in the car with you, with his hand in your lap and a gun at your head, <laughs> telling you where to drive. And if you drop below 50, it'll explode. <laughs> David. Chris, join me in the middle. Stand there, please. There you go. So you can use that uh, in your car or you drive. Excellent. Do you drive? I do. <laughs> right, do you walk? Yes. Well, <laughs> please thank tonight's contestants and thank you very much to Anthony and Sophie. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the internet. Until next week on 31 Questions, I'm David M. Green and you can be too.